Warning, this video contains some sensitive discussions with today's interviewee whose work contains content with the following trigger warnings. Mental health issues, self-harm, gore, needles, blood, substances, and suicidal thoughts. This video is not meant to condone or encourage any of these behaviors. This video is purely for educational, journalistic, and informational purposes. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi guys, hello! Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you are safe and doing well. Welcome back to another J Fashion Exchange video where I interview J Fashion enthusiasts in Japan. This series was started with the goal of trying to help bridge the gap between the international J Fashion community as well as the one in Japan so that we can learn from each other and understand each other better. Because even if we can't communicate much with words, we are still able to communicate and bond together through our love for J Fashion. Before I continue with the rest of the video, I would like to reiterate once again a huge trigger warning for the video as well as for the work of today's guest. Trigger warnings relating to mental health issues, self-harm, gore, needles, blood, substances, and suicidal thoughts. If these are things that could affect you or make you uncomfortable in any way, I highly recommend not watching this video or viewing this creator's works. And if you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, please tell someone who can help right away, call or text 988 to connect with the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. They offer 24-7 call, text, and live chat access to trained crisis counselors who can help people experiencing suicidal substance use and or or mental health crisis or any other kind of emotional distress. People can also dial 988 if they are worried about a loved one who may need crisis support. If you or someone you know is in need of support but not in crisis, consider reaching out to a warm line. Warm lines offer a place to call when you just need to talk to someone. Speaking to someone on these calls is typically free, confidential, and run by people who understand what it's like to struggle with mental health problems. You can find a warm line at mhanational.org slash warm lines. A portion of this video will be donated to the Trevor Project, a support network for LGBTQ plus youth providing crisis intervention and suicide prevention, including a 24-hour text line, which is text S-T-A-R-T start to 678-678. A portion of this video will also be donated to Trans Lifeline, a grassroots hotline and microgrants nonprofit organization offering direct emotional and financial support to trans people in crisis crisis for the trans community by the trans community. So for today's interview, I will be speaking with someone who is a big part of the Harajuku fashion scene in Japan, Bisco Ezaki, who has worked with numerous J fashion brands like Listen Flavor, Galaxy, and ACDC Rack. He was featured on NHK World's TV show Kawaii.i or Kawaii International to talk about genderless fashion. He is one of the writers for Harajuku Pop Web. You might have seen that article with all the different J fashion styles that was drawn and written by Bisco Ezaki. He created the term Oshi Dekora, which is currently trending. I also met a couple of people at Harajuku Day LA who called their style Oshi Dekora. He was even a guest at the 2018 Anime Expo and modeled for ACDC Rag in the fashion show and collaborated with LA's Little Tokyo to feature his art in various places. The illustrator and manga artist Bisco Ezaki is most known for being the creator of Menhedatan, a character whose theme is mental health, a topic that is commonly considered taboo in Japan, as well as a new genre of kawaii called yami kawaii, which evolved from yume kawaii, which I talked about in a previous J Fashion Mythbusters video with Hoshi and Jess that you can check out in the card above. Yami kawaii adds opposing elements to the traditional yume kawaii style to juxtapose the fantasy playfulness against darker themes and style. Yami kawaii is what happens when Yume becomes dark. So I will be talking to Bisco Ezaki about these things and also asking about the criticisms surrounding him and his work, like whether it is glamorizing suicide and self-harm, which could potentially expose strangers to graphic content. I will also be asking about the situation that happened in 2017, where he attempted to register Yami Kawaii as his trademark. This video is not meant to condone or encourage any of these behaviors. It is purely 
for educational and informational purposes for those in the international J fashion community as well as those interested in yummy kawaii. Today's interview would not be possible without the help of I, also known as Lovely Blasphemy on Instagram. I has been wearing J fashion for many years and even worked as a 6% Doki Doki shop girl for some time. I will be helping with the live translation today. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into the interview. Hello, so nice to meet you. For those who might not know who you are, please introduce yourself. You are most known for being the creator, author, and artist of the manga Menheratan. Mm-hmm. So what is your manga Menheratan about and what inspired you to create it? So Menheratan is created えっと、まだ10代の頃に生み出したキャラクターで、えっと、その時期は、あの、高校生から大学生に移る、えっと、時期だったんですけども、えっと、受験だったりだとか、家庭の環境とか、え、人間関係とかいろんなことで行き詰
言葉が変わってしまうのが一番私は嫌なので、それで結構今、あんまりその、歌にニュアンスを変えられて翻訳されるぐらいだったら、翻訳はファンの間でもあんまりしないでくれって。Currently, he does not have plans to、um, have the manga translated, but if he was going to do it, he would want to do it himself.、Mm-hmm. Mostly because he had let fans translate before. In, in general, Japanese is such a difficult language, and there's just like certain cultural terms that don't translate. Very well. And then also the idea of having his own words change with the translation. He would rather oversee that himself on how it would be translated.、Mm. Let's now talk about Harajuku Kawaii fashion. So, you are a big part of the Harajuku fashion scene in Japan. You've worked multiple times with brands like Listen Flavor, Galaxy, and ACDC Rag. You've written articles for Harajuku Pop Web. You're featured on NHK World's Kawaii.i on genderless fashion and lots more. So, how did you find out about Harajuku fashion? Harajuku fashion のことを話しましょう。いろいろな Harajuku のお店で店員をやったり、Listen Flavor, Galaxy, ACDC Rag. それで、あの、Harajuku Pop Web でも記事を書いたり、NHK World で Kawaii International で、あの、ジェンダーレスファッションの特集をあのされたり、原宿ファッションはどうやって知りましたかえー、私はあのファッション雑誌キラーで知って、もう知ったのは結構もう小学生の幼い頃から知っていて、私は結構学校にそのパンクファッションだったりだとか、あの、結構原宿系のアクセサリーをつけて学校に行っていたので、もう小さい頃から知っていました。Fashion magazines, especially Keda magazine was something he read quite young in like elementary school. And then he was already like wearing like accessories that he had gotten from Harajuku. And so he was pretty early on in Harajuku fashion and wanted to wear it. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you love about Harajuku fashion and how has it positively affected your life? Harajuku fashion, what do you like about it? What do you like about it? I think that the Harajuku fashion is a very important thing. I think that the Harajuku fashion is a very important thing. I think that the Harajuku fashion is a very important thing. I think that the Harajuku fashion is a very important t h i そういった意味で、すごく世間の目だったりとか、そういったものが何も気にならないストリートなので、まあ、自由なところが一応、原宿ファッションの一番魅力だと私は思っています。I think a big part of Harajuku fashion is that everything goes and then everything about you and about what you wear is accepted. And you can do a lot of freedom. That you couldn't really have somewhere else. Well, what has your experience wearing Harajuku fashion in Japan been like? How do people in public react? And also, how does your family feel about you wearing Harajuku fashion? In Japan, Harajuku fashion was a very g あそれ一般の人はどう反応しますか家族はどういう気持ちですかあ,あなるほど、えー。私は意外と、あのーまあ、人によるとは思うんですが、えー、私は街を歩いてて全然皆さん可愛いって知らない人が言ってくれます。それから親もすごく寛容で、私は結構その自分で服をリメイクしたりとかすることもあるんですが、それを親が手伝ってくれるほど親はすごく寛容で、全面的にサポートしてくれています。なので、えっ、ー、と、周りの人からはすごく好評ですね。可愛い,いとか、えっ、ー、と、似合ってるとか、すごく褒めてもらえることの方が多いです。He says a lot of positive reactions where when he's walking around in Japan and that strangers will sometimes come up and tell him That his outfit is cute and kawaii. His parents are very accepting and he does a lot of remake like clothing where he, um, yeah, I guess like use clothing and then remakes them. And his parents also help with the remake、mm. stuff. So it's quite a good relationship. Well, recently you created the term oshi dekora. So many people overseas are really getting into it. So what inspired you to create the term? 
And is everyone, even those who are overseas, welcome to try it? So, 最近、推しデコラっていう単語をあの作りました。それ、海外でも人気です。推しデコラの,あの単語はどうやって始まりましたあ考えましたそれで、あの、海外の人でもやってもいいですかあはい。まず、推しデコラはもう、海外と関係なく、すべての国の方がぜひ真似してください。それから、推しデコラっていう言葉はですね、日本では、例えば特定のアーティストや、えー、アイドル、それからキャラクターを、あの、すごく崇拝したりとか、あのー、とてもファン活動を熱心にすることを押すっていうんです。これ、押すっていう言葉がまず日本語にありまして、その、あのー、例えば熱心に押しをすることを押し活っていうんですね。で、あのー、好きなキャラクターを押すとか言うんですけども、その、押すっていう活動が、例えば、あの、デコラと結びついた時に、あの、好きなキャラクターのグッズを全身に身にまとって、もう自分の体全身で、このキャラクターが好きだっていうことを表現するということを、推しデコラというふうに。Oh, she decora is for everybody, so everyone should try it out if they want to. I guess the word also is, is, I guess literally means to push, and it's, it's kind of like, I guess in English, it's like to ship or whatever.、Mm-hmm. It's like the character you're, you're pushing forward as like your favorite character, or like you're, you're, if it's an idol, it's like a person you cheer on the most, I guess.、Mm-hmm. And so, Combining that with Dekora, you are covering yourself entirely with that, like one character that you're very into. I think I watched the video and it was the Hum Toro one. So, yeah. Just, yeah. Well, other than Oshi Dekora, there are also many people overseas who are starting to get interested in Jirai K, which I heard is quite popular in Japan right now. So, is Jirai K really popular in Japan right now? So, Oshidekara, Igaini, Kaigai no Hito, Niwa, no Jirai K ga hayate mas. Eto, Honto ni Nihon de mo Jirai K ga ninki desu ka? Hai, Mada, Nizio, Ninki desu ne. Jirai K to, Ato, Lio san gata to iwane ru, Nishirui no fashion ga, ma, Nihon de mo ma trendo desu ne. Kiko, sono, Gonen krai mai kara mo zuto, Hayari da shite wa i tan desu ka. 最近は本当ポピュラーなファッションとしてすごく若者のニーズを超えるように人気を誇っています。それは、えっと、地雷系が簡単に言ったらカジュアルなパンクファッションとかカジュアルなゴシックロリーターに近いものです。そして量産型と言われるものがとてもカジュアルに落とし込んだロリータファッションに似ているって言われています。Yes, even now, Jirai K is quite popular. It's been around maybe like around five years now. And it's kind of almost like treated like it's casual fashion because it's so accessible. And so, especially like within young people, a lot of people still wear it. Also, mentions a、uh, Ryo San Gata, the,、mm-hmm. yes, which we will mention also later. And it's like, It's also the same way. It's very accessible. It's like、uh, easier to, like, cheaper to buy than like wearing Lolita. So it's like also easier for people who are into that kind of girly fashion to wear, even if without going like into a subculture entirely.、Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. Well, you said that it started five years ago. Do you know how exactly j i r a i k started? In、Japan, like you know, did somebody create it and how did it you know evolve and spread everywhere? 5年前に地雷系が始まったって言いましたね。それで地雷系の元とかありますか？それそういうあの地雷系の歴史とかしてますか？あの地雷系ファッションっていうのはもともと原宿系ファッションではなくて、えっと新宿の歌舞伎町の子たちがしていたファッションです。で。その歌舞伎町、新宿の歌舞伎町の、例えばホストクラブに通っている子たちとか、えっ、ー、と、ちょっと家に行き場がなくて、えっ、ー、と、路上で集まっている東横界隈って呼ばれる子たちがお酒の缶を持って、えー、路上でお酒を飲みながら、えー、しゃがみ込んで地べたに座ったりとかして、集団で、あのー、まあ、そこを居場所としている子たちのファッションとして、もともとはあったもの。So, Jirai Ke is 
not really Harajuku fashion, but it is um, originates in Shinjuku's Kabukicho, where there's a lot of like clubs and stuff. And so it was part of like people who wanted to dress up, but they wouldn't dress up like that at home. And so they would go out <laughs> to drink outside. And so they're like a lot of times they're holding like a I guess I'm not sure how like the legality of it is, but like drinking like a beer, like they have like the canned beer and stuff, and and it was kind of like to show what you're wearing, but also like hanging out with your friends outside. Talking about Jirai K and Rio Sangata, so you created artwork of oh gosh, it's like so hard to see, but you created art. So somebody took the art and they translated Jirai K to dark girly. And Ryo Sangata's sweet girly. So, do people in Japan use the term girly K? あの、絵の子とのなんですけど、えっと、それをあの、あまろりとかあ、ゴストリとか地雷系とかリオさん方が書いてある絵なんですけど、それをあのファンが翻訳して地雷系をダークガーリー にして、それで量産型を水とガーリーに日本ではガーリー系とかいう言葉は使いますか。ごめん、ちょっと聞こえなかった。あ、えっと、日本ではあまりガーリーの言葉は使いません。そして、えっと、日本で生まれたファッション
、夢かわいいっていうジャンルの派生であって、もともとあのベースに夢かわいいっていうジャンルがあるんですね。で、その夢かわいいに、えっ、ー、と、メンタルヘルスとか心の闇の要素を足したものが闇かわいいですっていう説明をしてもらって。So, 闇か,、ま、かわいい was、uh, created in reflection of 夢かわいい which is、uh, dreamy, like かわいい。It's very like similar but with elements of like mental health, things that reference mental health and I guess like darkness in general. Yeah, I've read that there's like a contrast, right? Like it's very cute, but also dark at the same time, right? Yes, because it's, I guess it's like a reflection of like a mirroring of Yumekawai. So it, it has the same cute, like pastel y dreamy features, but with elements of darkness within it.、Mm. Gotcha. Well, in your opinion, What is the difference between Yami Kawaii and Jirai Kei and Menhera Fashion? So, Yami Kawaii and Jirai Kei and Menhera Fashion are the same thing. Yami Kawaii is 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 the same thing. カミソリだったりとか、薬だったりとか、そういったメディカルなモチーフが、えっ、ー、と、ミックスされたものですよね。で、えっと、地雷系っていうのは、そういったものとはまた違って、あの、なんていうんでしょう、の、先ほど申し上げたように、新宿とか、そういった向こうの原宿ではない、その飲み屋街のストリートから生まれた女の子たちの好きなファッション。で、ちょっと心の闇をその、暗いダークなトーンの、とかで表現しているんですね。で、えっと、メンヘラファッションっていうのは日本では一切使われていない言葉でして、それは海外で勝手に広まった言葉であって、で、日本はどちらかというと、メンタルヘルスの,あの当事者の人にすごく寄り添って、そちらの方々に、あの、あまりその迷惑にならないようにメンヘラファッションっていう言葉をあえて使わないんで、すごく配慮をして作ったのが闇かわいい。なので、正直言って、あの、私個人から言わせてもらうと、メンヘラファッションっていう単語はすごく、あの、日本においては絶対、あんま使わない方がいいというか、人によってはそれを侮辱と捉える人もいるので、あんまり使ってほしくないなっていうのと、正直、あんまり勝手にメンヘラファッションって言われるのは、あんまり、私個人としてはその、闇川イカルちゃんに対してあんまり、リスペクトがちょっと足りてないなって思ってしまう部分はあります。As before, Yami Kawaii being a reference, Yume Kawaii is specific to that with pastel colors, elements of medical things like、uh, blood types and I guess needles and, and razor blades and that kind of thing. And Jidaike references, I guess, like Shinjuku's, like, I guess, like drinking, kind of like that kind of clubbing kind of scene. And for the word, like the term Manhattan fashion is not used in Japan. And it's something that is used by people abroad. And it's also specifically a term that he doesn't like to use and it doesn't, shouldn't be used in Japan.、Mm-hmm. I think it, it takes mental health too lightly. It just isn't a very, and people get offended by those kind of terms. So it's just like something that shouldn't really be used because of how lightly it kind of uses that, like those words. Mm. You were saying that people in Japan don't use menhera like as a fashion, <laughs> you know, to use as a fashion term, and that it's not good to use it because it is making light of the word menhera because it's a very serious thing. And in the past, there, you know, there's discourse happening, people talking about menhera. And you have spoken against it and said that it was a slur. Was that a mistranslation? Like, do you feel like the word menhera is a slur? And do you regret sort of maybe your past remarks about menhera? My name is menhera. The word is a slur. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a slur. いや、後悔はしていないんですけども、メンヘラっていうのは、もともと、あの、自分で受賞するものではなくて、えっと、
他者がメンタルヘルスを抱えている患者のことをすごく揶揄するため、悪口として最初使っていた言葉なんですね。で、それと似たもので、地雷系と量産型も全てもともとは自分で名乗,る名乗るものではなくて、第三者が、あの、相手を悪口として揶揄するときに仕掛けたもの。あの子は地雷系だ。あ,あの子は地雷女だ。とか、あの子は量産型だっていうふうに悪口として最初は使われてたことが全てそうなんです。メンヘラも量産型も地雷地も全ては最初は悪口なんですね。だから自分で名乗るものではなかったそうです。Yeah, he doesn't have any like regret about the terms about メンヘラ。I guess we, these terms like メンヘラ are used negatively, especially like the origin of it is very similar to like Jiraike and Byo Sangata is like、mm-hmm. they were used for people to talk about other people and, and you know, put them in a category and, and such. And so they were all words that were kind of made from an insult initially. And that has, like, I guess, changed over time.、Mm. Okay. Well, would you say then that people use these terms? To reclaim it, maybe? Like, you, you, I don't know how to. Yeah, I think that's the word. Re- reclaim it, where they would use, you know, a negative term, but they will take it and be like, yeah, so what? I am, did I, for example, you know? So, the other thing is, men, hair, and 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 hair, そういう悪口じゃなくなるように自分で使って自分に対してそう使ってそうあのそういうこ変わりますかそういう言葉で日本ではすごく自分のことを自虐的に言ったりとか自分で自分をちょっと下げたりとかする文化があって自分に対して自分ですごく悪口を言う文化がちょっとあるんですね日本には私はどうせメンヘラだったとか私は同性量産型とか、私は同性地雷系とか、それとちょっと若干すごく開き直って若干ひねくれてる性格が日本人の国民性にあるので、自分で自分のことを悪く言う文化があるため、自分で使うようになったんです。It's, I guess, it's slightly different in the sense that、um, Japanese people culturally, I, I guess, put themselves down in a sense, and so, Part of it is just like naturally, you are sort of reclaiming it, but you're also,、uh, I guess, putting yourself down by using the terms on purpose.、Mm. And it's like somehow it's, I guess, it's acceptable to do those things. Yeah. Put themselves down like in a nice way.、Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> maybe、yeah. I need to learn more. About that, because I think for us,、uh, we use it, you know, when we reclaim a word. Like, for example, overseas, somebody calls you weird or cringe, and then you're like, yeah, so I'm, I'm weird, I'm cringe, you know. At first, they mean it as a negative way, but then when you say, like, I'm weird, I'm cringe, you are turning it into a positive for yourself. and Reclaiming it in that way, but I'm curious about why they want to insult themselves, right? Is the saying, I mean, I guess that's like a that, that part a becomes like a cultural thing, thing、mm. right? You talk yourself down, in a、right. sense, especially when in comparison to other people. No, Kai Gai, that to go, Jibunga. あの変とかオタクとかよく自分に対して言葉、そういう、あの、そういう悪口じゃなくて、こう、いいこととしてそういう言葉使うのはやっぱり日本とはちょっと違うかな。Yes. That was another. It's <laughs> more of a. <laughs> It's more like a, a thought. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next question then. Talking about Yami Kawaii, in the past, you did、uh, try to trademark Yami Kawaii. Do you regret the decision to do that? And did it affect your relationships or reputation in the community? 
Do you see Yamikoi as an open public genre or something that you have ownership and authority over? Yamikoi is a trade mark. コミュニティの関係性はどう影響しましたか今は闇川へは自由に使えるようなものや誰かが商標できるものと思いますかいや、結局、あの、商標を私が質問したときに、私が作った人っていうことは認められたんですけれども、それ以上に言葉が広まっ
、中国と韓国のファンは、なんて使う金額がすごすぎて、もうほとんど一人で、ほとんど業者のような買い物を毎回毎回している方がたくさんいます。本当に規模感がすごい。だからとてもなんか向こうのアジアの韓国と中国では私は全然わからないけど、向こうでは闇かわいいファッションのバブルが来てるのかなと私は感じています。Doesn't personally feel there's like a, like a very different view on his work, especially, but um, First, it was like started out with his fans mostly being Japanese and then spread to, you know, Europe or, or America and Western countries. And now it's China and Korea, and they are just quite different as fans. And says that just like how, how they buy his products, especially like whenever they're released and stuff, is different and really feels like there's just like a bubble right now, of, especially in, in those regions.、Hmm. Of popularity, yeah, I think I can see that too. With also like other Harajuku fashions as well, yeah, definitely in China and Korea, been seeing it spreading more there too. So, next question Can anyone in the world wear yami kawaii and Harajuku fashion, regardless of country, race, ethnicity, religion, age, gender, size? Etc. Yami Kawai ya Harajuke fashion wa Jinshu nene sebutsu ni kaka warzu dare demo kite mo ii desu ka? Achiran yo. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for adding English translations in your post. Do you come up with the translations or does someone help you? Insta toko no honyaku wa arigatai desu. It to. 自分で翻訳してますかそれか手伝う人はいますかえー、っと、基本的に私が英文を載せてるときは自分で翻訳をしています。それはだいたい翻訳機能を使ってやっていますか ?Yes, it's usually he will do the translation himself with help with、like、a translation program. Well, if somebody wants to start wearing Yami Kawaii and Harajuku fashion, Do you have any advice on how they should start? Yami Kawai ya Harajuku Ke Fashion Kite Hajime Tai Hito ni o s u s u m no advice o Sashi a g e m a s k a s u m e no advice. Oh, Yami Kawai Fashion wa ya Pari Mihi na Kano T Hatu Ichimai Kiru Koro Kara Hajimaru and Bimina Sana. So Kara Janai is funny. So Kara Jojo Niki Rawa T Kiba in Janai. He says a good start is to buy one of the Meheda t shirts and then work from there. <laughs> cool, cool. Right. Isn't the ACDC rag collection it's still available? Right? Ah, I'm a demo ACDC rag no collab. I'm a demo. Awesome.、Yes. Do you have any last words of encouragement for the viewers who are watching the video right now? ぜひ好きなファッションは何でもためらわず挑戦してみてほしいのと、そうですね。あとやっぱりファッションを何か自分の中に取り入れるときは、ぜひそのファッションが生まれた戦いきさつとかを調べて、その文化のリスペクトを込めて、えっと、ぜひやってもらいたいですね。やっぱりそのリスペクトがあるかないかっていうのはすごく大切なので、そこはすごく、えっと、しっかりと、It's very、um, important to wear what you like and, and try different fashions. It's also good to、um, do your research and learn like, the origins of the fashion you want to start and also have respect for the origin.、Mm. Very true. Well, is there. Anything that you would like to ask us or discuss about the overseas Harajuku community, or is there anything else that you would like to add? Eh, to, Kaigai no Harajuku K fashion community, Nitsuite, Kikitai, Ano, Kotomo, Ano, Arimaska, 
、えっと、またに、他に、あの、何か伝えたいことがありますかいや、私は正直、海外の、その、原宿系ファッションのコミュニティのことをよく知らないので、質問したいんですけど、何から質問したらいいかわからないぐらい何も知れないです。<笑>だからぜひ、なんか、いろいろと教えてください。<笑> um, he says he just doesn't know enough about the fat, like the Harajuku fashion abroad, the community abroad. And so it's more,、um, just, I guess, teach me what you know in a sense. <laughs> Mm. Oh, well, I mean, so far from the people that I've spoken to, both internationally and in Japan,、um, I mean, I feel like we have quite a number of similarities. Sometimes, I guess, maybe some cultural differences. But on the most part, yeah, we're all pretty much on the same page of. Just enjoying fashion together. And, yeah.、Um, I think here, maybe, well, I'm speaking from somebody who's in America, but I think community is very important for us. So we have like discords where people who like the same fashion, they will connect and talk to each other. We have like events where people make friends and Like it sort of becomes like people become like family, like they really get to know each other on a deeper level from deeper than just like fashion. So, I guess that's one thing about the international community is it's very、uh, tight knit, I guess. Even、uh, if you are kind of far apart, like it's not just America, like even in France, even. In South America, in Mexico, you know? So, yeah, that's, a, that's one thing about the international community. みんなで話したり、そういうイベントも作ったりするとは、まあそれが結構違うかもしれない、日本人と。すごい羨ましいです。日本の国民性はなかなかそういったものが日本一やんだからみんなできなくて。He says he's a, well, like wishes that was in Japan also, that kind of.、Hmm. Community. Well, if y'all want to be friends, we're here. <laughs> But like I said, you know, there's there's cultural differences. Like I've spoken to my friend Dolly, who、um, I'm not sure if you've ever met. I've met her. her. Yeah. Rain- rainbow chick. Yeah, rainbow chick. So yeah, because I mean, she's been in Japan for quite some time too. And she was also telling me how, even though, you know, she. Meets people in Harajuku, like they don't really talk more about like personal life things, even at work, too. You don't really talk so much about your personal life, like maybe what you do outside of work, which I mean can be good and a bad thing, but like still, you know, it's just that's one thing that's different is it's very, I guess, surface level, you know, you don't really go deeper than that. There's Not many deep conversations or talking about like family and stuff. So,、um, I wonder if that will ever change one day or if it will stay the same. なんか、ぜひ海外の方々が、その、そういったイベントを組んで、オファーしてくれたら嬉しいです。え、he says that it's to have like more foreigners just come to Japan and even create their own events in Japan. He's very willing to participate in Rainbow. Yeah, that would be fun. It's like 
cool to see all the pictures and videos from the Neo Decor Kai events. Maybe one day we can have like an international Harajuku fashion meet in Japan for everyone all over the world. I think that would be cool. Or maybe even online too would be cool. Mm, online, then more on Harajuku, the more international event. で、いろんな人が集まって、原宿ウォークとかできたらいいと思いますね。ごめんなさい、今ちょっと聞くのなかった。<笑><笑>えっと、海外の人で、あの、まあ、オンラインでも、あの、原宿で、こう、インターナショナルでみんな集まって、原宿ウォークとかイベントできたらいいと思いますね。<笑>そうですね、ぜひ、あの、こういった、あの、今日、ね、ズームでお話ししてますけど、私、なかなかこういったオファーもあまり来なかったので、こういったことをお話しする機会が今日与えられてとても良かったなと思うのと、やっぱり、あの、気軽に、こう、ぜひね、通訳の方がいてくだされば、私もいろいろと喋れるので、あの、ぜひ、また何か聞きたいことがあったらすぐに連絡してください。Um, doesn't really get like many opportunities to like talk to people, especially like abroad on a Zoom call and stuff. And so, especially having a, a translator, it makes it easier and just like it's, we're, we're willing to do it again because it's, yeah, it's a good way to communicate. Yeah, thank you, I, for all your help today. I really appreciate it. Bisco, you are going to have the Harajuku Kawaii X Shibuya Gyaru Friendship <laughs> Festival event soon, right? Like next week or five days? Eto, Harajuku Kawaii Shibuya Gyaru Yukokai event ga. Raishu desu yo ne. Sono, ano, event no shashin o tanishimi ni s h i t e i m a s Ah, arigato gozaimasu. とてもあの文化がすごく歴史に残るような大きいイベントになると思うのでとても楽しみにしていてください。Both of those、uh, cultures are like part of, I guess, history in a sense.、Mm-hmm. So having them collide is a great opportunity and hopefully a memorable event. Yeah, I'm excited to see all the pictures. Actually, that's another thing I guess that could be different overseas. Whenever we have like J Fashion events, People who wear gyaru and also people who wear like Harajuku K, they will meet together. You know, it's not like they're、uh, separated or, yeah, they, they sort of mix and intermingle together. And even people who wear like gyaru fashion, they'll also wear like Harajuku K fashions. So, yeah, I guess that's one thing that's another thing that's different.、Mm. うん、海外はやっぱりあの、そういういろんなファッション、原宿系でも、あの、ギャル系でも、い、い、一緒に会うことがいよくありますので、それとあの、その一つのファッションだけじゃなくても、ロリータとか、まあ、ギャルもお、あの、一緒に、あの、来たりする人もます、ね、それも違いかもしれない。確かに、確かに。日本はすごく、あの、やっぱり街で分かれていたんですね。ギャルは渋谷、えー、かわいいは原宿っていうふうに、日本はすごく街で分かれていたから、人種が違うっていう認識だったんです。だから、それをやっぱり、あの、なんだろう、ベルリンの壁を崩壊するように、なんか、よくつけちゃおう、仲良くしちゃおうっていうのが今回のイベントの試みなので、また何か日本の中でも大きくカルチャーが、I guess if for Japan, like a lot of those fashions are also, they are connected with location and that's what really separates them. And、mm-hmm. so, like Yara being Shibuya, you know, Harajuku being Harajuku fashion, it, it, they have that kind of like wall between them, like these people are in that area and these people are in that area. And so, having them actually like, Collide is it's a good opportunity.、Mm, yeah, I agree. Definitely a very good opportunity. But before we go, I just want to say thank you again for your time and knowledge. And also, do you have anything that you would like to promote or social media pages where we can support and follow you? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
。それと、皆さんにフォローしてほしい SNS とかは何ですかそうですね。インスタグラムとツイッターだけで大丈夫です。So, Instagram and Twitter are the best places.、Mm. Yes, I will, I will link in the description. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I think, I think that that should wrap it up. I think that was a good、um, interview. Thank you again.、Uh, I hope that you have a good、uh, rest of your night. I think, are you, are you still at work right now, b s c o えー、あの仕事なんですか今。そうなんです。すごく今日、あの、いろいろと騒がしくてうるさくて、すごく申し訳ないんですが、普通に、あの、原宿のサンディシロップカフェで、えっ、ー、と、接客中に今、客席で配信をしています。<笑>申し訳ございません。普通にだから、みんなの声がたくさん入っちゃって、今日はすみませんでした。Yeah, right now he's at、um, the candy syrup. The... Cafe at, at work. Oh, <laughs> so that's why it's so loud. Is that oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. Like, <laughs> I hope it's okay with your boss that you are on the interview call right now. But I understand. So, the show is on the high scene. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's good. But so thank you again for your time. I appreciate it. And thank you again. I, I, I seriously、uh, appreciate you. So, this is a good thing. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much again to both Bisco Ezaki and I. I will link both of their links. Down in the description below. I definitely wanted to ask more questions and to just really get deeper into everything, but unfortunately, due to time restraints, I wasn't able to do that. And I also apologize for all of the background sounds. The interview was done while Bisco Ezaki was at work at Kandai Syrup, which is a genderless cafe in Harjuku. But if anyone would like to see a part two, please do let me know. I would also love to know your thoughts on Yami Kwai and everything that we. We、have talked about today. But thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. And I would also like to thank my lovely patrons. I'll see y'all in the next video, so take care and bye bye.